music. Here's Abra Kadabra. Play a level, boy. This is Talking. Live in Tokyo, it's speeding up. 
music. And our undercover with Baker Street. Give it up, Torquay, undercover. Winding your way down to Baker Street. Lighting your head and dead on your feet. Well, another crazy day. Drink a lot away and forget about everything. This city dares and makes you feel so cold. It's got so many people, but it's got no soul. And it's taken you so long to find out you were wrong when you thought it held everything. Used to think that it was so easy. Used to say that it was so easy. But you're trying.
Why do we only ever have men dressed in nothing but a G-string? When they man and I went to Wolverhampton, the guys stripped off to nothing but the girlies didn't. Not a dirty old man, but it just seems a bit sexist. You can't hear a word I'm saying, can you? Silly old deaf fool. Green. The answer is green. <laughs> Next this week, a letter has come in from Ruth in High Barn in London. She says, I watch your show every week and I think it's smashing. The only complaint I have is about the writing that appears on the bottom of the screen. I like all the bits of information and the quirky little stories. At the end of each one, you write a sort of punchline like, get down and stretch your funky self and cracking tracks. But what on earth does happening movie mean? I'd like to say hello to Peter and all the crew on the Enter City 125 that <laughs> brought me down from Paddington today. They watched the show every week. Thank you, Peter. Come on, McCann. I can't hear the words you're saying. We're having a bit of a problem hearing each other up here. Anyway, the real definition of a happening movie, apparently, is as follows. When you dance, you move, as in the expression, move your butt. Excuse me. Hence, when you dance to a track, you move to the track. If a track is good, then it is happening. I feel like if Archie Andrews together, here. You get a happening movie, which is a cracking dance track. Who writes this stuff? Our last letter this week is anonymous but very moving. It says, I would just like to say thank you all from the bottom of my heart for making such a splendid show for the ITV telethon. You tastefully mix together young people having a good time with a real reason of, of telethon is to um, this stage to raise money for those who are unable to enjoy all the variety life has to offer. Both Pete Michaela and the production crew and Cubs should be very proud of themselves. Thank you, buddy. For all you older viewers at home, I feel a bit like Archie Andrews here. Ah. Um, I only work when she puts her arm up me back. It's right, said Fred, and I'm too sexy. <laughs> Boyfriend blindfolded. Yeah, give so away you like to put the blindfold on. Take your time. <laughs> All right.
right, here we go. Mix the round, boys. Mix the round. Now, first of all, all turn round to face the other way. We're going to get uh, you to feel bottom. So, bit easy, this isn't bottom. it? Bottom. This is your bottom, love. Okay, come here. Feel this bottom. Is this the bottom of your boyfriend? No. No? Turn round, let's feel the body. Yeah. Yes, do you reckon so? And let's feel the this one. has got corduroy trousers on. No. Really, <laughs> well, that was really that simple. Was difficult, wasn't it? Right, we go. Take your Check trousers off and under do your that. shirts. We want to feel under that. Under your shirts. Hairy chest. <laughs> Has your boyfriend got a hairy chest? It's got no, more gold, no, this right. boy, than bloody what's his name? Okay, come MC here. MC Hammer. Is that your boyfriend? No. Ain't no, no feeling of shirts, you know what he's got on. Is that your boyfriend? No way. No, a bit hairy, that one. What about this one? You reckon yeah, that's Yeah, you can feel his chest. She's cheating, are you? Cheating. All right, come back here, Emma. Emma. Now you've got to snog them, all right? So let's have a bit of a snog of this one. Oi, 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 oh! Is that him? No! You dirty bugger! <laughs> what about this one? Oi, get... Is that him? beyond time and walk with the dinosaurs at the Elton Museum, Botanic Gardens, Belfast. He's gone! Help's coming! Here's Malcolm now! What's the panic, Kowalski? It's my night off. Patrol trapped on that ledge, Malcolm. What are they, mice or mounties? Jump! <laughs> but they've got the new supply of the bat! Okay, I want ropes. Yes, helicopters. Yes. Paramedics. Yes. And St. Bernard's. Move it, move it. Parrots. Lose the bear. Totally unconvincing. <laughs> Easy, boys. That's valuable. Sorry, but we don't have any room for... You guys. Lobats. Malcolm the Mountie always gets his can. Still working. Quite right. I mean, what it needs is a little, uh, ah. Yeah. Good old granddad's looking after the kids in his own particular way. <laughs> oh! 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 Dear, dear, dear. Granddad. <laughs> Luckily, Crown Solo self undercoating gloss and advanced one coat emulsion will cover that lot up in no time. Nice one, granddad. Yes. Oh, hello. What do you think? Green. Make your home your own with Crown. And here they are, the fabulous Rye Beaners. 
There's delicious black currant Ribena. Low sugar Ribena Light. Fruity Strawberry Ribena. Tangy Orange and Apricot Ribena. Or who could resist refreshing Apple Ribena? What a choice, all ready to drink, with a taste of real fruit and packed with the goodness of vitamin C. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I give you the fabulous Rye Beaners. If you wear dentures, your choice of food may be rather limited. Painful bits of food under your dentures could leave you only the soft option. A little super polygrip will hold your dentures firmly, so no irritating bits, just more of your favorite foods. Super polygrip lets you chew what you choose. BDG is Northern Ireland's largest conservatory manufacturer. Extend your summer into winter with a beautiful BDG conservatory. Prices from £4,000. Which of these people have sensitive teeth? They all do. As your dentist will tell you, it's a common problem. But she uses... Fresh tasting Sensodyne F with fluoride. I use it every day, and it helps keep my breath fresh. Sensodyne F's special ingredient quickly helps calm the nerves that cause pain. Now they all use fresh tasting Sensodyne F to relieve the pain of sensitive teeth. Lenore have added a new third fragrance to their range. Alpine Fresh. A cool, clean, crisp fragrance. New Alpine Fresh Lenore. A breath of fresh air for your clothes.
Abracadabra, and of course, uh, Dancing Queen. It's you two. And it's even better than the real thing. What is? This crowd, I reckon, be Absolutely. How brilliant it is. Even better than the real thing, and his snap this week's number one. Rhythm is a dancer.
talk about sunbathing topless, sunbathing even nude. All right, girls, hands up. Who sunbathes topless? Your hussies, your hussies. Who sunbathes in the nude? All right, who sunbathes topless in Torquay? Are you serious? Do you really? Yeah, yeah, there's um, a beach on the front where most of the women, yeah. And um, everybody does it, all the women, topless all the time. Does anyone think there's anything wrong with it? Does anyone? The men should do it all the time. They do do it topless. Hello? Yeah. Well, actually, when I was in Crete this year, when I went to a nudist beach, I didn't go nude, I have to say. But there was a guy there, and the men, they just stand there like this, flapping away in front. They look... Talkie, definitely not. No, no. thank God! <laughs> Has anyone got a boyfriend that's anti them sunbathing topless? No? No! No one's got a boyfriend that doesn't like them sunbathing topless? <laughs> well, a lot of boyfriends do, though, don't they? Don't a lot of boyfriends mind girlfriends sunbathing topless? Oh, I've got a husband, I haven't got a boyfriend. Oh, does he mind? No. <laughs> but don't you think, girls, men do ogle women's boobies on the beach? Yeah, well, my boyfriend goes mad at him. Just... You are? What, what? Down to the beach themselves just to see the topless women. With their little camera, and they go snapping around. I, well, I'm amazed we've got no no one here that has a boyfriend or another half that's, that doesn't like it. You have. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right then, girls, pretend you're on the beach. Tops off. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Here's Harry Truman, or it takes Truman. He's underwater. Underwater? <laughs>
Sorry, Truman. That's Truman underwater. This is... Too Unlimited, the Mega Mix. Watch these lot go mad now. Watch this. Over there, boss. Now give me a beat. of something good.
because stuff's got the way we've got fashion. We've got the news. Pump it up, we're live in Torquay. It's fabulous. Stay with us.
Welcome to Torquay. We're at the Rick Sea. This is Utah Slate. That is something good, Pete. And this is Torquay. From Leeds, this guy's up from down there. It's a smart team. And this is Sesame Street.
fashion. Tonight's fashion comes from Metro in Torquay. All medals are from Glenby Agency in Plymouth. First of all, we have Rachel. Where's Rachel? <laughs> Rachel is wearing black shorts and a sleeveless top with tucks, both by Lily Whittingham. Oh, I think that must be Rachel. <laughs> you might have spotted this was filmed earlier. <laughs> this is Chris. Wearing black trousers, blue sweatshirt, and a blue and black spotted shirt, all from Matanee. Whoa. This is Tracy, she's wearing a black horse neck suit by Lily Whittingham. Very nice too. Next we have Kate. Kate is wearing sequined hot pants by Skinny, a black bustier and chiffon blouse by Zach. Yeah, behind we have two ladies. Oh, where are they? In the corner of your screens. <laughs> They've gone. This is Brad and he's wearing charcoal trousers, light grey shirt, both by Matinee. Oh, there they are, the ones at the corner again, wearing a Oh, they got again. <laughs> Pretty moody, this, isn't it? I say, I say. Oh, I think this is Melanie, wearing a black lycra two piece by French Connection. Wearing a lovely pair of corduroy trousers. It's really the none more black fashion show. <laughs> All fashion tonight was from Metro in Torquay. All the models from Glendy Agency in Plymouth. There you go, Smarties. And of course, that's the mystery. Here's the record we played a long time on the Hitman and Her. Wasn't big first time around, but it's growing, it's growing. It's DJ Professor and Rock Me Steady.
DJ Professor Rockley study his wag your tail. Expand your mind. And apparently we're playing the wrong side of this. We'll correct that <laughs> in a couple of weeks. Controversy. According to our sources, the Canadian officials at the Olympic Games tried to stop athletes wearing lycra. The big wigs of Canadian sports said that sportswear such as the lycra shorts worn by Linford Christie left little to the imagination and that the jiggling joggers made passers by blush. It's better than wearing boxer shorts, I say, can you imagine that? Anyway, you only see the running for 10 seconds or so and even then you're supposed to be looking at who wins, not who's loose. <laughs> I think it's quite sexy myself. Now it's been brought to our attention that Russians do it faster than anyone else. A dating agency in Moscow claims to have the fastest turnover in the world. That's right, you just attend one of their blitz evenings where you're given just five minutes before fixing up dates. And the agency also says that it's possible to fall in love in just three minutes. What? But that's believable compared to a story we've got from New York. Yes, that wild and wacky Americans have started foot friend parties. These parties are set up in a string of clubs for the lonely souls who have a foot fetish. <laughs> and lastly this week we have a quick story of a couple of Merseyside people who fell in love and did the most romantic thing of all. Yes, say hello to Gretna Green in secrecy. After a 150 mile journey, the couple got ready for their big moment and ready to tie the knot when they bumped into a couple from work. The couples had both had the same idea and even though they worked together every day, they'd never let on to anyone about their plans. Ooh, I say it's such a small world, isn't it? Now, back to our little world here in Torquay. And the lazy fat Peter wouldn't come out.
have a premonition, I have a premonition. Alter cynic, nothing lasts forever. Spot on. Who's doing best so far? Oh, the one in the middle's got a good answer. Oh, they're good at this Hello. one, Dorky. What do you do for a living? <laughs> Don't ask, Pete. <laughs> oh, I know the blue's going, the blue one. Oh, I, Ooh, I see. Oh, what a big one she's got. Oh, she's Ooh. gone. And the next one, and You've the next one. You've got two more to go. That's a big one. Keep going, kid. Don't be perfect. Keep going. Humping. Start working it all this. All this humping. <laughs> God blind me, hang on that a minute. Behave, that's it. Oh, you're going to fall off the edge. Hey, don't start cheating. You've got a side to this one. Fellas, you should be so lucky. Go, go, keep going. Oh, oh one more. This one more, one. kid. Go on, one more. Come on, love, you're going, you're doing well. She's slowed down at the end, you're all right. Look, she's got the action, fellas. She's still going strong, this one. For that. Yeah, I gotta get it. That. Yeah. Fabulous. There you go. That's your prizes. Where did you get an action like that? Horse riding. Horse ah, riding. Of course. Don't just said horse riding for God's sake. Would have been in serious trouble if you hadn't. Oh, see ya. Give a round of applause. Well done, girl. Let's get back to dancing. from undercover. We'll be giving you the chance to say hello, Bob. And we'll be stepping back in time. See you back here in Talking.
Ludo once said to me, welcome back to Torquay. Then there's Ruffo and Ruffo's theme that we had on two weeks ago. We're absolutely brilliant, aren't they, Pete?
Coming in Torquay, there are obviously lots of summer shows. One of the very hot summer shows around here is the Little and Large Show with Lindsay Lizardi. Welcome everybody. God, tell us where your show is and what it's all about and things. Our show is called Rock With Laughter and it's starring Sid Little, who does a great impersonation of Linda Lusardi and Linda Lusardi is a great impersonation of a rave. She's a one-woman rave, this girl here. It's not true, it's not true. I think they all think it's complete and utter madness and they would be right, of course. What kind of things are you doing in the show, Linda? I'm singing and dancing and doing sketches and playing around with these boys. We're not Linda Lusardi. That's what we enjoy the most when Linda plays around with us. Oh. Now, 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 but now listen, all the taxi drivers have been complaining to me that it's dead here. How's your show doing? Our show's doing very, very well. You can fit a lot of dead people in our place. So it's not true. The taxi drivers are just moaning like they always do. <laughs> I, think, I think we're really lucky because this is a real family show, whereas, like, you know, Jim Davidson is a great adult show and, every, and it's been packing them in, but they can bring the grannies and anything to ours. Oh, so you're against Jim Davidson's naughty night show, are you? Very different, and uh, we've been playing cricket with him today, haven't we? We have, yeah, that was a sight screen. <laughs> now, listen, who did you say you reckon Pete looked like? You are! Yeah, <laughs> you! Yeah. Oh, he Pete! Look like he you. looks more like Curly Watts, Pete, doesn't he? Yeah, Pete Waterman is Curly Watts, my God, get back to Mr. Bitterbines. Come on, Curly, get back there. Wait, what are you doing here, man? Curly, get back to Bitterbines, please. You could go away now. <laughs> We've finished. <laughs> they have a lot of sin in there, don't they? Hey, spurred on by that Linda Lasagna. They're killers. They're killers. Face shakes. Gives me the shakes every night. Shake down and base shake. Felix. And don't you want me? 
Don't you want me, baby? Wrong Is that the wrong one, <laughs> Time for a lone mum and uh, let's have a look. What's your name? My name's Helen. Helen, what's your mum's name? Anne. Anne, wave down that camera and say, Hello, mum. Hello, mum. Miss you very much. Miss, oh, she's here actually. Oh, she's here? She's here, she's having a dance. She's what, having a dance? Yeah. Oh, can't say a lot about that, can you? Not many girls bring their mum to a dance. No, well, she's a great mum. You ain't bought your dad as well, are you? Sorry? You ain't bought your dad as well, are you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Don't blame that. you. Don't blame you. you ain't, your mum's not here, is she? No. Right, what's your mum's name? Helma. Right, give her a wave down that camera. Hello. What, you got any message for her? Yeah. Go on then. All right. Hello, mum. Love you lots. Thanks for having Selena. Thanks for giving up your meal for tonight. See you tomorrow. Oh, that's sweet. Ain't that sweet? Fancy having a daughter like that, mate. You'd throw up, wouldn't it? Right now then, will you stand still for a minute? If I can talk to this, she's not stopped dancing. Stand still. Cool, yeah, right, right. you got ants in your pants or some fighters dance, one of the two. Right, what's your mum's name? Fran. Right, Gwen, Fran. what's your name? Melissa. Who? Melissa. Oh, very posh name, Melissa. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, now down that camera, what's your mum? Hello, I mom. love you, mum, because dad doesn't. <laughs> Time to step back in time and it's Wham and Club, Club Tropicana. Tropicana. Clive, you just look like George Michael. Well, socks look like George that? Michael's. George Michael's what? I'm not sure you look like. What have you come as? Who's he? Looks like bloody Captain Bird's eye. Look at that. Has it started yet? We've got the bird noises.
Good night from him. We'll see you next week in Liverpool. It's Bye. good night from Torquay.